Hello everyone and welcome to your favorite channel, Things To Do. And today we'll be talking about the most visited places in the world. Before I start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to remain updated. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. From San Francisco to Paris to Beijing, the most popular tourist spots around the world may not be what you think. For example, Alcatraz doesn't even make it on the top 50. Only about 7 million people visit the Eiffel Tower every year, which puts it outside of the top 20. Both the Great Wall and the Louvre get 9 million visitors per year, which is less than a quarter of the number of people who go to the most popular place in the world. There are also a lot of theme parks. Still, this list is full of favorites and you've probably seen some of them or had them on your bucket list. But anyone who's been pushed into a crowd of sweaty onlookers knows that the most popular places in the world aren't always the most fun to visit because everyone else wants to see them at the same time. There are ways to avoid at least some of the crowds when going to the most popular places in the world. Number 8. Beijing, China's Forbidden City the number of people who visit the Forbidden City is one of the top 10 in the world. The complex is made up of 980 buildings on 180 acres of land that used to be the home of Chinese emperors and is now the Palace Museum. The number of visitors is limited to 80,000 per day, and it can sell out before lunchtime during busy times like July and August, Chinese national holidays, spring festival, and Golden Week, which happens twice a year around Chinese New Year and in October. The Ming Palace is a sight to behold. Your best bet is to go early on a weekday and between November and March, which is the low season, holidays excluded. Number 7. Fenwell Hall in Boston, Massachusetts, USA History fans come in droves to the Cradle of Liberty. Fenwell Hall is known as the Cradle of Liberty because it is an important place in America from before the Revolution. Both Samuel Adams and George Washington spoke here. It's now a busy marketplace with more than 100 specialty shops, restaurants, and food vendors, as well as Boston's tallest Christmas tree every year. The streets around Fanwell Hall are only for people on foot and always busy, especially at lunchtime and on the weekend of the Boston Marathon. Come early in the morning or late in the afternoon or in the winter when the city isn't as busy to see Boston's historical beauty without the crowds. Number 6. Grand Central Terminal in New York, New York, USA Grand Central Station is fun for both tourists and locals. Grand Central Station is a national historic landmark in the United States. It covers 48 acres, has 44 platforms, and more than 750 trains go through it every day. For commuters, it's an important transportation hub, and for tourists, it's a beautiful, historic Beaux-Arts building with a painted ceiling that shows a chart of the stars. It's also home to some of the city's most famous bars and restaurants, like, like the Campbell Apartment from Gossip Girl and the Oyster Bar, which was featured on AMC's Mad Men. Most of the time, New York is less busy in the winter. Avoid rush hour and go late at night or early in the morning to see Grand Central with fewer people. Number 5. Niagara Falls The boat rides near Niagara Falls are very popular. The three waterfalls that make up Niagara Falls are on the border between the United States and Canada. Because of this, it seems like twice as many people go there. It's not the tallest waterfall in the world at just 165 feet, but it is one of the most powerful, pumping 6 million cubic feet of water over its edge every minute. One of the most powerful waterfalls in the world is Niagara Falls. During the warmer months, like late spring to early fall, the Made of Mist boat sails close to the thunderous falls. Come in early spring or late fall to see a few less people or bring your parka and go in winter to have the place almost all to yourself. Avoid long weekends and holidays like the 4th of July and Canada Day and plan ahead to save time in lines. Number 4. The Union Station in Washington, D.C., USA During the spring and early summer, it's best to stay away from Union Station. Every day, more than 100,000 commuters and thousands of tourists go through DC's main transit station to see the beautiful classical Beaux-Arts and Baroque architecture and shop at its more than 70 shops. The famous architect, Daniel Burnham, designed and finished the station in 1908. Spring and early summer are particularly popular times to visit. Come instead in the fall or winter and avoid rush hour and you might get a taste of what it was like in the 1940s when the station only served 45,000 people a day. Number 3. Central Park in New York City, New York, USA 
The Bow Bridge in Central Park is a popular place for tourists to take pictures. The most well-known green space in New York City covers about 850 acres in the middle of Manhattan. Even though it is the most visited park in the world, there's still plenty of room to spread out. One easy way to avoid crowds is to go to less visited parts of the park. Early weekday mornings can also be less crowded, and if you can handle the cold, a trip in the winter will let you see one of the world's most famous parks without feeling like everyone else in Manhattan. Number 2. Times Square, New York City, New York, USA When a Broadway musical is playing in Times Square, there are a lot of tourists there. Times Square used to be thought of as one of the worst places in Manhattan, but now it seems to have been turned into a clean version of the city that looks like a theme park. Even though people who live in New York may not like it because it's not a real part of the city, tourists and theater goers flock to Times Square to experience the chaos, see the huge billboards, and see famous Broadway shows. Unfortunately, before and after the shows are the busiest times for traffic in Times Square. If you want to see Times Square with a little more space, the best times to go are early in the morning before rush hour, in the middle of the afternoon, or late at night after everyone has gone home. Since only more than 250,000 people come each day in February, it is the least busy month overall. And number one, the Strip in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is in the United States. On the Strip, cars and people walk together all the time, but especially at night. The Las Vegas Strip is Sin City's main drag. It has more than 30 casinos, the famous Bellagio Fountains, and the High Roller, a 550-foot Ferris wheel that slowly spins over the city lights. More than 75% of people who come to Las Vegas stay in hotels on the Strip. The best time to visit is in the middle of the week, either in the winter if there are no big conventions going on, or in the summer when the high temperatures keep most people inside or at the pool. That's all for today, guys. Don't forget to mention your comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.